CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Alrighty. We're on the road to the San Gabriel Mountains. And uh, we're going to try to hit two or three peaks, at least two today. Uh, Mount Islip, then Williamson, and then a little quick drive up to uh, Tabletop. Why not? It's right on the way home. So, uh, yeah, it's overcast here in San Diego. We've been having our standard June gloom weather. So, uh, it would be really nice if it was like this up there, but it's not going to be. I believe it's going to clear out. And uh, we'll have some nice hiking today, I believe. So, uh, looking forward to it. Let's get her done. That means we're at the trailhead for Mount Islip. So, um, beautiful drive up here, very nice. And uh, perfect weather, clear skies, about 65 degrees. I think it's gonna get warm today. Man, this is such a huge tree. Look at this baby, it's massive. Anyway, we're gonna head up the hill here. A lot of folks out and about. Gonna run into a few. We are on the PCT. <sighs> kind of took a little shortcut from the car. And uh, seen a few people in the route already. So it's um, 8.23. Been out here for about 18 minutes. So, uh, well, there's only one thing to say. Let's get back to work. So, one thing about uh, PCT, it does put you right on the edge here. It's nice, pretty damn good drop off, so you don't want to go tumbling off this baby. There's somebody in their little sports car uh, getting it on down there. Anyway, it's a, it's a well-traveled trail, that's for sure. Um, my last time up here, I was at the trailhead by Williamson and somebody had fallen off the trail and shredded themselves up on the, on this uh, gnarly scurry we have up here. So don't do that. Note to self. A couple of nice guys ahead of me there just passed me. Perfect time to be out hiking this from the uh, little Jimmy. Yeah, we're kind of, there's quite a few people up here, which is very nice out here enjoying the sunshine. There's a great view of the valley coming off here. That's uh, something. It's on the uh, some guys on the HT there. This is looking off to the west. If it weren't for the clouds, you'd uh, you'd see the ocean. So we're currently pointed exactly south, actually. So we we'll swing around to the west. So we've got a quadcopter operator up there. Down, back to the south. Up, of course. Yes, out of five nine. Thanks a lot for the contact, and have a good, great day out there. Alrighty, thanks, Gary, and uh, you do the same. Wait. Hotel Oscar. Uh, Hotel Oscar, go again. Whiskey Seven Hotel Oscar. Whiskey Seven Hotel Oscar. Good morning. Uh, good morning there. Uh, yeah, good to hear you up on the mountaintop there. Uh, you're running about a five by seven, five by seven into Oregon. Over. Roger, Roger. Got you a five nine up here on the mountaintop. Over. Roger, Roger. And have fun up there. Stay safe. 
All righty, man. Catch me on the next one. This is November 1, Charlie and Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. Whiskey Zero, E-R-I. Good morning, Martha. How are you doing this morning? Good morning to you, Kristen. You're about a 4x4, 4x4 into Kansas right now. So uh, thank you very much for the contact in 73. Already 73, Martha, and have an awesome day. I got you 5959. Five, Kilo Bravo 6, Alpha Echo, N1 CLC. I, I got you at a 5 2. Five two. Uh, QSL, QSL, uh, just a note my uh, summit designator was wrong. My summit designator was wrong. It's actually Whiskey 6, Charlie Tango 010. Would you mind posting a spot for me? QSL, QSL, QSL. All right, in my report. All right, I got you five, 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 five. Over. All right, copy, five, five. Thank you for your contact. Have a great day. Whiskey Uniform 7 Hotel. Whiskey Uniform 7 Hotel. Uh, hey, Josh, how's it going? Oh, good, Chris. How you doing? I heard you. Uh, I heard your your correct ref. I just corrected your ref for you on uh, Soda Watch. Ah, uh, sweet. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You're coming in five nine up here. Yeah, you're uh, you're about a five seven five seven here. Alrighty, man. Well, uh, thanks for the contact. Yeah, nice to talk to you on uh, voice for a change. Uh, have a good one and uh, stay safe. Uh, Seventy three till next time. November seven, Mike Sierra India. November seven, Mike Sierra India. QSL. QSL, this is November 7, Mike Sierra, India. You're about a 3333 into Helena, Montana. Over. Roger, Roger, I got you 5-9 up here on the 5-9 on the mountain. Over. Oh, QSL, 5-9, yeah. Okay, well, very good. Thanks uh, for activating. And uh, I'm chasing one of my friends, AE7AP, up here. He's uh, up in the Bob Marshall trying to uh, activate a, a summit, but he's I don't know, uh, uh, looking at APRS, he's on the wrong wrong summit. But anyway, we'll see what happens there. Uh, thank you for your activation in 73. All right, Roger, Roger, man. Have an awesome day. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Yeah, Roger, that uh, just thought I'd get you uh, on the video here. I had to change the battery out. So, uh, yeah, you're still coming in 5 9 here. Oh, thank you very much for that uh, signal report. And uh, you're 5 9 right now, also in San Diego. And uh, clear audio. Awesome. All right, thanks a lot, man. And uh, there's some other guys up here on peak, so go chase them. Very good. Uh, thanks so much for the contact and have fun. I know you do. GI6RF, <laughs> listening out. Awesome. Thanks for the contact, man. A lot of awesome contacts up here. Um, and uh, let's see, CW, a uh, little sideband. Talk to Gary and Martha. Um, tried to get a hold of Adam up on another summit. He was running two meter up there. Couldn't quite get him, so he and Rex are up there, I thought, for sure. We'll be able to get him at, because uh, I think they're at about 11 or 13,000. So, we must have a little obstruction between us. But, anyway, good times. I am going to head down, and then we're going over to Williamson. So, this is a nice little hike this morning. Good morning. Buongiorno. Hi. Hi. Buongiorno. <laughs> Butterflies all over the place. Crazy. Slip. Check. Done. So we're back at the vehicle. We're going to head over to the trailhead for Williamson. And uh, let's do that. 
Um, gotta tell you, it was a fantastic hike this morning. A little toasty coming down. Uh, it's gonna be warm over in Williamson, so you're gonna have to hear me complain about that. But um, just beautiful up here. And a lot of people out enjoying the uh, uh, forest bathing or something. Just really awesome up here today. So let's get cracking. All right, we're at the trailhead for Williamson. It was just down the road, so less than five minutes. So we're gonna do this. Got a nice little picnic table in the shade and stuff. But uh, I think we got about a two, two, two and a half max uh, to get up there. So a lot of rules. Please do your part. It's bear country. Don't take your motor vehicle up there. It's a mountain lion habitat. Put your dog on a leash. There's a lot more than that, but let's just stop there. Just be nice to the public land. How about that? Don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. That's, they should just do that. Put that notice up and we should be good to go. So, anyway, let's get cracking. We're on the Pacific Crest Trail again. So, pretty well worn, I'm sure. A little bit more hard packed than the other trail. We're not quite at 7,000. The other trail started at about seven. I think we're about 300 feet lower. 200 but uh nice you have the canyon here see the parking lot down there it doesn't seem like we've gone very far like from me to the parking lot's a maybe a half mile but it's another half mile if you have to go all the way around here and it kind of comes up this and we just keep going so pretty rugged country but uh Certainly nicer in the shade. I think it was 80 when I got out of the car. But, you know, it's not bad. A little breeze going on up here. So, more flattened trees. Um, it's interesting how that one's bent over. I'm just wondering if this is just the wind that just comes howling through here. Pretty amazing. But, uh, yeah, interesting soil in here, too. Kind of loose, loose rock and dirt. But the forest seems pretty healthy up here. And it is a crystal clear day. Another favorite scree field. It's like a decomposed granite fall. That was just gnarly. This tree is really something. Two of them, basically two trunks, and they're massive, and they managed to survive. That is one big, beautiful tree. It's a really nice one. She's really loaded down with pine cones too. Check this tree out. She's in pretty good shape. Maybe a little burnage down here. But look at the top. Yes. It's growing right around these rocks. Look at that. And right over this guy, finding some cracks and driving down in it. Just amazing. Wow. And look at this, it's like another trunk going off to the left here. And down. And then into the path. That is incredible. The wildest thing is this rock sticking right out of the tree. I mean, check that out. That is totally cool. You can see it kind of, maybe the tree's kind of sitting on top of these guys here. Pretty amazing. Enough goofing around, it's back to work.
All right, we're on the actual summit. Boy, the trip from the fall summit to this one is really, um, <laughs> it's tough because just because it's the last little bit, but uh, especially after you've already done five miles. Um, here's your little 360 from Williamson. Nice day up here. Um, I'm guessing it's high 70s. Um, nice breeze, but not blowing hard. So this direction you have the desert, and then I come over this direction. We normally be able to see the ocean, but not today. Anyway, let's get on the air. Well, just finished uh, Mount Williamson. Um, unfortunately, you didn't get the contacts because the battery died just as they kicked it on. And I did not notice that. So anyway, uh, pretty good activation. I got uh, four or five uh, FM contacts from Summit to Summit on VHF and then uh, went over to uh, 20 meter CW. And um, K6 LDQ was nice enough to uh, spot me on uh, 20. So I appreciate that since I didn't have uh, cell phone coverage. So thanks, I appreciate it. That's awesome. Great ham community. So I'm gonna head off the peak. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. I slept a little bit more, just a prettier hike, but uh, this is nice. It's not too hot up here. The wind's blowing a little bit, so it'll be good. We're gonna head down to the vehicle and then drive over to Table Mountain. And uh, that's pretty much a drive up. So just park and walk up to the park there, set up and uh, get some contacts. So that'll get me a triple up here in the, uh, the San Gabriels. So let's get to work and get down the hill. Interesting going up um, Williamson, this, this little shot right here is just nothing but scree and kind of switch back to, up to the, the first summit. And then you have to go back to the last summit, which is along a, a very, I don't know, at least a tenth of a mile ridge line. And you kind of drop down under it because I think the top of it's a little too gnarly. But uh, and once we get out of this, we'll be on the uh, trail down there, which is a little bit more uh, un normal. So as the sun gets lower, it's uh, definitely getting nicer out here. A little bit cooler. Heading down is a heck of a lot easier than going up. Let's get back to work. We're on the PCT. And kind of a back to the U normal trail. Uh, and this has a slope the entire way. It's kind of amazing. So I think our climb today was a couple thousand feet over about two and a half miles. So maybe probably maybe 22, 2300 feet. Pretty good hike uh, up Williamson. I'd say more difficult than Islip. And I enjoyed this a little more. But um, yeah, not bad. But, uh, it is pretty in some of these areas here. All right, back at the vehicle. So, Islip, check. Williamson, check. And uh, let's head down to Tabletop, see if that's open. To get a few contacts there and head home. That'll be our Angel Crest uh, San Gabriel Mountains Triple. Whatever that is. I think we're done here. Thank you.
this is a nice spot. It's a beautiful view of the valley out there. I mean, man alive. I don't know if you can see this, but that is incredible. Just out onto the desert. We're up here at about 7,000 feet, a little more, I think. So there's, there's a ski lift, an old ski lift that comes up here. But anyway, let's send a CQ and then we'll jump to 20. New Zealand. All right, that was a bunch of contacts, including New Zealand. Well, I guess the radio's working. Um, my CW is kind of sloppy, but I mean, I'm tired. <sighs> that one call sign's really hard because he's got sixes and Bs all over the place, or Bs all over the place, which always kind of just throws me out of the way. Yeah, you don't see it that often, that's why. But, um, boy, it's really nice right now. This is. I'm ready for a glass of wine, not a two-hour drive. But, uh, yeah, I'll take this. This is a good way to finish off the little trip here. Well, good trip. So we're going to load up and uh, head back to the Casa and then have a glass of wine. Maybe stop by and get a burger on the way home. I'm trying to get hungry. So, 73, thanks for coming along and listening.